Guard playing this mud deck here. Uh, looks like a pretty normal mud deck. Chalices, Grim Monoliths, Trinospheres, Titans, Worm Coil Engines, Metal Workers. And he's playing against Thomas Smiley. Let me see, he's got... Ooh, what's it's up? It's like a Bant deck. Yeah. With no Delver. Wow, I'm Ooh. happy to see no Delvers. <laughs> I've had just about enough of that card this weekend. All right, so... Oh, there they are. You'll see Gregory on your left and Thomas on your right. Yeah. Thomas's deck is a... Uh, a Noble Hierarch, Stoneforge Mystic, Knight of the Reliquary deck, um, Force of Wills, Days, Brainstorm. Jace. Jace, yeah. A little heavier on the control aspects. Not really aggro. So, well, pretty interesting to see how it all plays out. Yeah. Um, no Green Sun Zenith for Thomas. No, no. Which, which means he has access to no Kazali Pride Mage, which is probably going to be pretty big here. I mean, really, it looks almost... Just like a blue-white deck that has Noble Hierarch and Knight of the Reliquary in yeah, it. Yeah, that's sort of weird. Because uh, th those are those are the only green spells in his main deck. Hmm. Is Noble Hierarch and Knight of the Reliquary. Yeah. He's got uh, four tropical islands and that's it. Wow. <laughs> those are his green. Oh, no, Savannah. There it is. Oh, and they are off to the races. So wasteland for Tom Smiley, countered uh, by an ancient tomb and a grim monolith from Greg Giard. And he has a metal worker if he wants it. We'll see what he does here. Gregory's got a Sundering Titan in hand. Wow. Goes for the Trinisphere. Trinisphere. And if you're not familiar with Trinisphere, uh, it's an artifact that says all spells cost at least three. Yeah. And Thomas says no. <laughs> Force of will. Force of will. He says goodbye to Jace, but also says goodbye to that Trinisphere. All right. Way more importantly, gets rid of that card. Force of will would cost three mana and removing the blue card. And Ancient Tomb goes away. And Tom says go. Let's see. And Greg plays Cavern of Souls, naming Construct. Construct. <laughs> that is so awesome. Yeah, believe it or not, both Metalworker and Cold Off the Forge Master, uh, Master are both Constructs. And there he goes, Construct. Yep. And Metalworker. Metalworker. There he comes. Can't counter it. We'll see if Thomas has his swords. Uh, yep. There it is. So, Metalworker goes away. Yep, Gregory back up to 19. But more importantly, Metalworker off the board. Yeah. Thomas is still stuck on one land. This, oh, there is. There's the second one. Uh, looks like he's got a noble hierarch, two noble hierarchs in hand, but he can't cast them, so I believe those are both tundras. Yeah, and, uh, you know, it's, um, it's one of the risks of splashing noble hierarch. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you just and don't draw it. He's got eight fetch lands that, uh, to, help, to help for that splash, but uh, he's just not seen it this game. And that's a lodestone golem in, uh, in Gregory's hand. Yep. I'm going to see if that one's a construct, too. It's probably just a golem. Yep. Yeah, Golem, not a construct. He's got a Dark Steel Citadel. Little does he know, Thomas has a Daze in hand. We'll see if he walks into it. And Greg's counting out his mana, plays a Dark Steel Citadel. And goes for the Lipstone Golem. Yep, and I have to imagine Thomas will be gazing this. I believe so. <laughs> Not sure what he's thinking yep. about. There we go. And there goes the Lodestone Golem. And now Greg Giard back down to two mana. And Thomas still doesn't have a lot of action, but, I mean, really neither does Gregory. All right. And both players just playing Drago, Drago. right now. Drago. There's a Greaves for Gregory. So I think that's a Spine of Ishsaw. It is. In Gregory's hand that he drew. Lots of strange nope. and, ones. Ooh, the Lightning Greaves got Spell mm, Pierced. Yep. No thank you. So three Noble three. Hierarchs. I think that's another Spell Pierce in his hand too, which is a really good card against Gregory. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and Thomas draws a Knight. Draw go, draw go. Sundering Titan for Gregory. He's going to have to discard I think that's two for him. Soon. Yeah. Force of Will, Thomas Smiley. And, uh, there, is that another Metal Worker? Yeah, both players just have nothing going here. Wow. Thomas doesn't draw two a land. Force. He'll have to discard this turn. This is crazy. Yep, discards a Hierarch. And now Gregory sees what's up. He knows that yep. uh, Thomas is mana screwed. And I don't think that Grim Monolith is going to resolve. 
Yeah, especially if Thomas Smiley is discarding, I think uh, that's going to get yeah. pierced. Yeah, yep. And, and Thomas Smiley draws Jace. No that's hands. Wow. Hand. Both players. Oh, man. <laughs> Three metal workers, two Sunring Titans. A boat. Looks like a spine of Ishsaw. <laughs> I think duplicate. a Forge Master. <laughs> 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 All these awesome spells, but no man in a cast them with. This is like the artifact section of someone's trade binder. <laughs> this isn't a deck. <laughs> I have to imagine he'll be discarding something here. Probably Spine of Saw. That one doesn't seem like it'll be hard cast anytime no, soon. No, don't think so. Yep, and he goes for the Spine. Yep, you won't oh, have any. Kind of <laughs> yeah, it is. Goes for the Spine. <laughs> yep, discards the Spine and ships the turn. And there oh, we go. Green mana. Savannah. That is not good for Greg Giard. And that is a Knight of the Reliquary. Yep, with Force of Will back up. If Gregory just draws a lamb, though, he can start casting these he, metal workers. Uh, he drew a crucible, which he just doesn't quite have the mana for, which would be pretty good for him, but... Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Metal worker hits the bin. And Thomas definitely takes control. Ooh, draws a wasteland. Wow. Ouch. Ouch. And the higher art comes down. And, and you know, I'm looking up the creature types of a lot of the creatures in this deck. Both Sundering Titan and Lodestone Golem uh, are both golems. Uh, worm Coil Engine. Let's see what that is here. A worm. That's a worm, yep. Can't discount that. Thomas is searching out for a wasteland. Oh. Wow. <laughs> well, Double, luckily, luckily. Wait, for, wait, hold that's a Dark wait, Steel Citadel. That, that's not that destroyed. Is, Yes, that is indestructible. It should we'll, not have... We'll make sure that gets back there. There, yeah, okay. <laughs> so Thomas used a wasteland on an indestructible land. Must not have been playing during the Terror Ravager affinity. <laughs> oh, there's a Mox Opal. One more artifact. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Gregory GR just cannot stick a threat here. I think it's going to be extremely difficult for, for Greg to, to pull out here because... I mean, Thomas has two forces in hand. He's got a Jace. He's got a Knight of the Reliquary on the board now. It's just, it's looking really ugly for him. Yeah, that Knight is going to go, is going to grow really quickly. Yep, there comes Jace. He's like, oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, friend. And, and heal. Fate, fate Seal. seal. That was land. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Gregory Girard has to be happy about that, though. Oh, another and Crucible. crucible. Not doing it. Wow, drawing both crucibles, the spine, the duplicate. Greg Giard just having a really clunky draw this game. Yeah. I mean, Thomas, too, having those three wastelands, that was just really crippling. You know, even though one of them got used on a Dark Steel Citadel. <laughs> yeah. Still. Just the one land is, is all he needs at this point. And Thomas just... Laying out all his hand now. He's got a, he's got the mana. He's got the game. It's, yeah. He yeah. goes to Fate Seal again. Yep, Jace oh. just picking up <laughs> another land to the bottom. Ouch. And he gets in there with that knight. Yep, Thomas Smiley Punch. only has to buy a couple more turns. Another Grim Monolith. Nope, not going to do it. Greg scoops him up with a really frustrating draw there. I mean, I mean, honestly, for both players, if, if Greg had drawn a land yeah. almost at, in, at any point before Thomas took over, he could have easily swung that game. But yeah, definitely. He had so many powerful cards in hand, three metal workers. Yeah. That's crazy. Wow. So looking at the player's sideboards here, um, Greg Giard has Ensnaring Bridges, Tormod Scripts, an extra Trinisphere, some Duplicants, some Phyrexian Revokers. Silent Arbiter Worm Coil Engine. So he really is mono brown. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, Thomas has four Leyline of the Void, two Aether Sworn Cannonist, one Crossing Grip, two Engineered Explosives, three Path to Exile, one Submerge, and two Blue Elemental Blasts. I think he's going to bring in those Aether Sworn Cannonists. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> oh, of course not. Uh, no, he will be bringing in the Crossing Grip, though. Absolutely. Um, one Artifact Destruction spell. Um, Maybe the Engineers? They're not really that good, though. Yeah, I don't see him bringing in those. Uh, definitely the paths um, yeah. are going to come in. Um, 
really, he just doesn't have a lot to sideboard here. Yeah, the spot four cards mean yeah. maybe the submerge. Uh, maybe, at the hard cast submerge, yeah, that's tough. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Um, hmm. Really, though, his, his main deck is set up pretty well to, to beat Gregory. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, he's got four Swords of Plowshares, two Spell Pierce, three Days, four Force... I mean, those already are, are, are pretty right. hard for Greg to fight through. Awesome counter sweep. He can probably trim maybe like a batter skull, um, maybe a GT. I don't know which equipment he wants, but either way, his deck's going to be staying pretty much the yeah. same. Like, I would probably take out the GT, the batter skull, um, maybe a hierarch. Or maybe two Hierarchs, honestly? I don't know. It's it's really tough. It's like he, he doesn't want to side any cards out, but at the same time, he doesn't yeah. have many cards to bring in, so he'll probably just do some shaving of numbers. And He, he might think Days isn't very good against the Metal Worker deck. I'm not sure. I think it'd be pretty yeah, good. Yeah, <laughs> I think so, too. But uh, what does Gregory have against this Bant Control hmm. deck? Well, he could side in Ensnaring Bridge, but um, at the same time, siding in that against a Jace deck is always pretty yeah, risky. That's very risky. I probably wouldn't do that. Tormod's Crypt. Doesn't really do anything. No. Maybe Phyrexian Revoker. Yeah. You stop both Jace and Knight. Stop Jace, stop Knight. Stop Stoneforge. Gitae, Batterskull, any of these. We'll probably see the Revokers, I think. Yeah, I can see that. Um... In terms of what he's taking out, I don't know. He can probably take out some of the uh, less strong artifacts, like Platinum Imperion. That thing's not very good. No, not versus a control deck. Right. Um... Staff of Domination, maybe? Yeah, I could see him taking that out. Um, maybe even the Duplicate? Like, yeah, maybe. maybe. I don't know. It seems like Spinervish uh, sort of serves that purpose, you know, of, uh, of the Duplicate. But either way, both players' decks staying pretty much the same yeah. here. So, uh, Not many changes. Hopefully next game we'll uh, we'll see some lands <laughs> and spells instead of just spells. <laughs> right. <laughs> spells for both players. So they're shuffling up. Greg Giard, I, I would love to see him just come out of the gate strong here, see if uh, Tom Smiley can stop him. It's just exciting to see a turn three Sundering Titan. Yeah, <laughs> very true. Well, for me, you and well, the audience, maybe not for Thomas Smiley. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I remember when I was watching Todd play against... Uh, against the mud player in the yeah. top. It was actually Columbus. I think I said Nashville earlier. It was Columbus. I was at home. I was watching them in game three. He's like, yeah, hypergenesis. I'll put my, I think it was a, I think it was a progenitus in a play. And he's like, uh, dude, 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 <laughs> artifacts, artifacts. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. Trump, <laughs> Trump, Trump. <laughs> that sounds like a nightmare matchup. I think it was like two worm coil engines. Wow. And I mean, it was just, it was just brutal. Like, I was just like, no, but I mean, that's a pretty good matchup for mine. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I get to put all my awesome things into play for free? Okay, Flightsteel <laughs> Colossus. Yeah. You think you have a big monster. Boom. So, looks like they're going for the, the, the cuts and the present yeah. and drawing out their hands. Yeah, here we go for game two. Greg Giard on the play. Now, he would love a turn one metal worker. Yes. We'll see if he can do it. And you know, one of the downsides of this deck, uh, you can't really make out many of the cards in his hand because they no. all look the same. <laughs> well, let's see. He's got a, I think that's a, a Wasteland and a Chalice and a Steel Hell Kite and a Forge Master. Two Chalices, maybe. Two? Yep. Thinking about shipping it back, it doesn't really seem that strong. No. Now, if, if that chalice was a turn one chalice, I think he'd keep in a heartbeat. Yeah. But the problem is it's not until turn two. Yeah, he's going to ship it back. Yeah, I think that's the right play. <laughs> and Thomas. I think Thomas is going to be keeping his as well. Yeah, it looks like it. Er so no, oh. I guess Thomas is sending his back too. Oh, okay. okay. So a little delayed mulligan had to spend one there. <laughs> Yep, they're both got confirmed. They're both good at Mulligan. Now, if you're just joining us, uh, I'm Zach Hall in the booth with Callie Anderson here, and uh, we're coming to you live from round seven of Star City Games Open Worcester. Worcester, oh, uh, Worcester. Worcester. I can't. <laughs> I'm from the south. <laughs> I, I, I hate. I hate the fact that I'm butchering this fine city's name, but I'm from the south. It's 
Worcester. 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 There we go. <laughs> Rooster. <laughs> All you have to do is add an A-H to the end of any word. And Rooster. Perfect. Rooster. Yeah. Pra practicing. There we go. I've been trying. I, you know, I, I don't like mispronouncing things. Uh, my, my maiden name was... Uh, a name that no one could pronounce at all, and nice. <laughs> uh, I, I'm very sensitive about trying to pronounce things correctly. So, you know, definitely for, forgive me. For <laughs> yeah, see, mine is easy. Yeah. <laughs> one syllable, one syllable. You're from Boston. Uh, West of Mass. Oh. What's the? <laughs> no, 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 not really. Uh, from a little town outside of Springfield, which is um, sort of at the other end of Massachusetts, uh, at the non-exciting end of Massachusetts, oh. where all the mountains are. Mountains are nice. Yeah, mountains, lakes. They're exciting. We have mountains in Roanoke. Okay. They're okay. nice. <laughs> what else do you have in Roanoke? Uh, Star City Games. Oh, cool. <laughs> and uh, lots of cool people that live there. Nice, nice. We've got a Walmart and a Target. It's like a magic community down there. Yeah, it's, it's sort of like, like you know, a nerd colony. Yeah. Right. You guys <laughs> should get a seat on some sort of political council down there. Like, oh, that would be awesome. The nerd representative. <laughs> <laughs> like <sighs> the game advisor to the mayor. That would be nice. <laughs> No, it is pretty nice though at the office. Like you don't hear about American Idol or anything like that. You hear about Diablo three. Yeah. <laughs> and you hear about <laughs> you hear about all you know what, of Game of Thrones. Then, right, right. <laughs> oh wow, both players on five cards oh, now. Wow, we. So, I think this is really gonna favor Thomas Smiley. Uh, just because Greg Gr just has to put so many pieces together to make his deck work. Yeah. He needs artifacts for his metal worker. He needs two mana lands to cast his spells. I mean, all, all Thomas needs is two lands, a noble hierarch, a knight of the reliquary, and a spell pierce. And I think he's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, and then he just wins the game. But really, all he needs is like two mana for this deck. Excuse me. And you know, even if he's on one mana, he can do things like sword, spell pierce, daze, force of will, brainstorm. Whereas if Greg's on one mana, he can cast um. Chalice of the Void. Chalice for zero. Yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> he cast Mox Opal. Yeah, he cast Mox and... Opal. And that's it. <laughs> uh, can't quite cast the Steel Hellkite yet. Still on my one land here. It's it's always a shame when both players have to mulligan down really far, because yeah. you never know what kind of game you're going to get. Sometimes it's a really good game, but usually one player just runs away with it. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get a good game. That's my favorite part about Legacy is getting good games. Oh yeah, we've had some awesome ones today. Yeah. We had a uh, in round five we had a Reanimator Mirror, which was um it was crazy. All the games lasted so long. Well, two of the games lasted so long. Both players were just playing Drago. One player is about to discard because he has, you know, eight basically useless cards in hand. Wow. And uh, it seemed like Reed Duke was gonna have to hard cast his Gristlebrand. But uh, he, what? he managed to win before that. <laughs> Wowie. Yeah. All right. So let's see what five cards has to offer our fine players. It's like uh, Greg has two lands. Uh, Tritosphere. Didn't make out that last card. And I think it's Worm Coil Engine. Ooh, yeah. That looks like it. Oh, there's a Chalice. Chalice. And that's going to blank that Swords in Thomas's One. hand. Not much he can do about it right now. Did not have the spell pierce for that. Nope. Just lays a land, says go. Ooh, wasteland. And uses it for mana. Oh, Trinosphere. Wow, so <laughs> Greg Giard putting his lock pieces together, trying to prevent Thomas Smiley from playing any spells at all. We'll see what he has here. I see a Jace in his hand. I think he has a Knight of the Reliquary, too. Which will probably come out now. Yes. <laughs> Most definitely. As it usually does. Now, if Greg Giard can just draw something as simple as a Grim Monolith here, uh, he's going to be able to play Worm Coil Engine and probably and lock this game off. will be in a world of hurt. Right. All the Path to Exiles will be dead. All the Swords to Plowshares will be dead. Brainstorms, no good. No Hierarchs, no oh. good. So Chalice it could be the, life uh, or death for Thomas Smiley. <laughs> oh, oh you guys know you love my puns. Come on now. It's probably the kind of joke you get at the Star City Game Center all the time. <laughs> yes, <laughs> most definitely. So Knight of the Reliquary is a 3-3. Three, three. One land in the graveyard. Uh, 
There's Ooh, a grim monolith. There it is. Ow. And Greg Giard's still not wastelanding Thomas because he knows that he needs all six of his mana here. Oh, maybe not. Oh, he forgot oh, to pay uh, extra for okay. Trinisphere. There we go. Trinisphere does affect both players, not just your opponent. Our helpful table judge points that out. Thomas is looking at his hand, probably extremely concerned for what's about to uh, <laughs> show up on, on his opponent's next turn. Yeah, his opponent has six mana available. He knows it could be anything from a Kaldatha Forge Master to a Steel Hellkite to a Duplicant. It could even be a boat. Oh my god, it could. Thomas is going to search out probably a Wasteland here. Yep, he's either looking for a Wasteland or he's looking for uh, another land to get Jace on the table. Oh, wait, no, that, that is four. Yeah. Yep, Wasteland, you're he right. He goes for the Wasteland. Yep. He's, gotta, he's like, I'm not going to let this guy uh, get up to six mana. No way, no how. <laughs> mm. And now if Greg GR just drew... Um, a Phyrexian Revoker this game, he'd be in much better shape. He could have named that Knight. Yep. So this is going to be a monster turn for him. Waste that. Play Jace. Oh! Wow. Better than all. <laughs> so, Greg was probably feeling pretty confident. He might be feeling less than at this point, but... I mean, any any of his, I mean, he can draw Ancient Tomb or City of Traders to, yeah. uh, to to get that Worm Coil engine out. Of course, Jace can just bounce it. Right. And then the Grim Monolith is tapped. Wow, he's just using that plus two ability there. You know, honestly, I, I don't blame him. I, I think uh, right now he probably wants to control Gregory's draws and make sure he doesn't hmm. get, get the cards he needs. Right. Mox Opal will cost three mana. Yep, back in the hand. That doesn't work. Nope. And now Greg Giard is in a lot of trouble. Ooh, that Trinosphere is coming back to bite him. Yeah. His opening seemed really good, but uh, Knight of the Reliquary is just so good. Such a good card. Yeah. Oh, and there's another one. Ooh. This game is ending pretty quickly for Greg Giard here. It looked like there was a sword in Thomas's hand, but I could be wrong. Saw the art really quickly. Hmm. Here comes the other knight. Another knight. And that's an attack. Yep. Looks like he doesn't want to trade two lands for one right now. And we'll see what he does with Jace. Yep. Another fate seal. On top. You know. and, and, and another thing, too, I think why he would want a fate seal here is he wants to get Jace up as quickly as possible. Oh, there's a concession. Thomas Smiley takes it down. 2 with his Really yeah. neat bant deck. 